Hi, I'm Barb Smith with CureZone Broadcasting. The federal government is set to declare a bacteria killer found in many toothpastes, mouthwashes and antibacterial soaps as toxic to the environment, a move which could see the use of the chemical curtailed sharply. Health Canada has been probing the effects of triclosan on the body's endocrine system and whether the antibacterial agent contributes to the development of antibiotic resistance. Environment Canada has been studying the effect of the widely used chemical on the environment. The government's draft risk assessment is now complete and it says triclosan is toxic to the environment but there's not enough evidence to say it's hazardous to human health. The formal proposal to list the chemical as toxic to the environment will be published Friday. A toxic designation under the Canadian Environmental Protection Act triggers a process to find ways to curtail a chemical's use, including a possible ban in a range of personal care products. Canada's proposed toxic designation comes as other regulators wrestle with what to do with triclosan. But the United States Food and Drug Administration already has said existing data raise valid concerns about the possible health effects of repetitive daily exposure to triclosan and is expected to unveil its own risk assessment next winter. Currently, the American regulator's position is triclosan is not known to be hazardous to humans, but animal studies have shown that triclosan alters hormone regulation and that it warrants further review. The Canadian government reviewed the safety of triclosan under the government's chemicals management plan. The plan, first announced in 2006 with a budget of $300 million, initially identified 200 high-priority chemicals to undergo safety assessments over five years. When chemicals are deemed to be toxic to human health or the environment under this program, the government then outlines risk management steps to be taken to protect people or the environment. During the first phase of the plan, the federal government banned Pernola in baby bottles, an international first that began with listing the hormone-disrupting chemical as toxic to human health. Major companies have since announced they are phasing out the use of Brr in canned foods. The Canadian Medical Association has been calling for a ban on the household use of triclosan since 2009 when the organization raised serious concerns about the potential for increased bacterial resistance and argued the benefits are minimal compared to regular washing with soap. Rick Smith, executive director of Environmental Defense and co-author of the book Slow Death by Rubber Duck, how the toxic chemistry of everyday life affects our health, said he wasn't aware of the government's decision on what he calls modern-day snake oil. But like the Canadian Medical Association, we've been concerned about the environmental and human health impacts of triclosan for a while, so we would very much welcome some regulatory action by the Canadian government, Smith said. Darren Prisniak, president of the Canadian Cosmetic, Toiletry and Fragrance Association, said it would be premature to comment on the government decision until we know what it says, but he said his group is very supportive of the chemicals management plan. Thanks for watching this CureZone broadcasting. Special thanks to the Vancouver Sunday. Stay well.